I can't believe I have to keep answering this question over and over and over on my YouTube channel. For seatbelt psychic, yes, they are actors. They are actors on the show, but they are not acting. They had to apply or they were given the rules. They knew they were going to be on a show. They did not know that they were going to be on a psychic show. They came to the show filling out forms. They had to get into the back seat of the car and fill out. I mean, they filled out forms before they got into the back seat of the car. Thomas John knows 100% of the time who they are before they get in the back seat of the car, which means it takes little effort to find their social media and find out information about them that he can repeat back to them on the show in a way that makes it seem personal. Plus motivated sitters, which are what people are once they get into it. And they've also got cameras pointed all at them and they're actors. So they know darn well, they have better do a good job and not come across as you know too skeptical or anything of that sort. They're going to just go along with it. But I think that they genuinely felt um, that um, he was in contact with her dead in most cases because, well, it's an emotional thing, right? So they don't have any way of checking what's going on. They're just sitting in the car. He starts talking to him about dead people or their family members or private things. And it it can hit pretty darn hard. Most people have never, ever thought much about mediumship. You're watching this channel, so maybe you have an interest in it. But most people don't think about it. They don't, they just think of, you know, well, I guess some people can talk to the dead because, you know, because that's what I've seen on TV. They don't really consider it. So they are actors, but they're not acting. They get into the car knowing fully well it's a show. Thomas John knows exactly who they are before they get on the show. Now, here's the other question I get constantly. People, well, I shouldn't say question. They're just telling me this. They say, well, Facebook pages, a lot of people's Facebook pages are private. So how can he get information from it if they have a private Facebook page? Well, most people's Facebook page is not private. Most actors are very public about their about themselves and they overshare. Um, because he knows who's going to be on the show ahead of time. If he doesn't have access to their social media or finding something information about him online or being able to find some other kind of information somehow, they're not on the show. Or that segment does not air. This is his show. This is the Thomas John Seatbelt Psychic Show. This is not the Let's Test a Psychic Show. There's no chance that anybody's going to make him look bad. They want him to look great. They want to get a second season, a third season, a fourth season out of this. They want him to look good. Nobody's, this is not a test. This is just a TV show. Now to test this little thing that I, that this comment I get all the time about people. Oh, well, how do you know they're actors? Okay. So let's, let's take a quick look at how do we know they're actors? Let's, let's deal with that first. Sharing the screen. Let's look at the very end credits of a seatbelt psychic show. Here it is. Casting director, casting producer, associate casting producers, casting coordinator, senior casting assistants. So why do you need all those casting people if you do not have a TV show? Somebody has to handle all the forms, all the paperwork, all the, you know, looking over people to make sure that they're not, you know, wanted for something or whatever. Somebody's got to check these people out. Somebody's got to fill out the forms and get those all together. Somebody has to make sure that the forms for the insurance are, are signed off. Nobody is driving a car, getting in the backseat of a car for a TV show and leaving the curb and driving off without having a bunch of insurance forms signed. We do not live in the world where you can just play around with people like that. Thomas John is not a professional driver. I'm sure he's a fine driver. I'm sure he drives wonderfully, but 
they're not going to let people get into the back seat of a car without having a bunch of forms signed. And if you have forms signed, then you know who the people are ahead of time. Um, oh, let's let's look at one more thing. How else can we know for sure that this these are actors? Well, I don't know if you've heard of it, IMDb, but this is an internet internet database. What it does is it shows actors and actresses and people who are uh, producers and screenwriters and all that kind of thing on IMDb. This is a website. Now, IMDb is a subscriber based um, website. In other words, the people who produce the films or the shows do not fill in this information on here. The person who's the actor opens up an account with IMDb, probably paying for it, and they put their own information on here. Now, they put their information on here. I have no idea if there's somebody checking to see if they're actually on the show or not. But these people are, are have put their information on here. It's good for their resume. It shows a history of other things that they've done. So, and a lot of these people have public profiles. So like, for example, let's click on Leland Heflin. You'll recognize these people from the show. Here is her IMDb profile. Look at all the ads. And you can look at and see what her biography is. Possibly there's a biography here. There's a demo reel. It will have a little bit of information. Has she won any awards? I don't see any. Oh, it's trying to load. Actress, model, voice over act artist, podcast, producer, and activist. She is a co-founder and co-host of an American Conversation podcast. So this gives a little information on her, her contact information, her agent um, information, her resume. You can also look and see what else she's been in. Um, those kinds of things. Here's 44 photos of her. We'll see. Uh, it's taking a while to load. But what I'm what it happens is on IMDB, they it's a way of um, selling themselves for future for future gigs for people to be able to find other actors or actresses to star in whatever they, they want to have. It's still loading. It's taking it's taking too long. To load. I don't know why. So these are actors and actresses. Now, one of the things we might discover, oh, it's just loaded. Let's see if it goes over to her. If there's anything of interest on here. See more photos. Oh, it wants me to have, oh, here they are. Okay, so let's let's share this real quick. These are the 44 photos that came up of this person. Now, Leland Heflin, whatever her name is, she had to add these photos. So this is, or her agent or somebody who represents her has these photos added on here. So sometimes these photos tell stories about people and sometimes um, you can get a lot of information about them from here. I, I have no idea if there's anything on here. If you really had the time to want to spend to look at these things, you probably could find out a lot of information. And I'll give you an example. Let's see if we can go back over here. We can go back another page. And I know, for example, that Lisa Cash had a lot of information on her IMDb page. Let's see if this goes. Oh, it's still, I tell you, I remember dial up. Do you remember dial up? Okay, I'm going to click on Lisa Cash where you had. <laughs> we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be laughing about it because dial up wasn't that long ago. Wow, there's some nice photos of her. She's very attractive. Um, looks great in green with her red hair, but here's some of the other things she's done. Here's the other things she's been on, General Hospital, The Visitation, Lay It Down, Friends, Save It by the Bell, other things she's been on. Now, let's look at her 73 photos and see what's on here. And she's from, it tells you where she's from, a little bio. Again, she she did this herself. And we wait. Here we go. So when I looked at this last, which is a couple of years ago, I saw photo after photo after photo after photo of her with pets. And I'm not seeing them now, but it was very heavy with animal photos. I wonder if they're, see, this is 2023 I'm looking at right now. I'm not seeing them. I guess it's just mostly her right now. But there was a lot of photographs of her in the past with animals. So let's go over here to back to the um, the cast 
So this is not everybody. Not everybody who gets on Seatbelt Sidekick is an actor. The one of the persons I interviewed who was in the back seat, I call Chris, was not an actor necessarily. Chris was somebody who would like to have been an actor and applied for Seatbelt Psychic, not calling it Seatbelt Psychic, but applying for this TV thing that was happening. And Chris thought that they were, it was a game show and filled out forms ahead of time, applied for it. I think it was like a, I don't know, the actors and actresses and things like that. There's, there's these websites you can go to for, for, I guess it'd be the equivalent of like a Craigslist of, of, of gigs that are happening in the area and that are looking for extras and they're looking for people to be in the show. And so you fill out this, fill out the application and then they approve you. I mean, this could be months in advance. It's, it's not like the day of, and then Chris showed up, found that this was, um, you know, they had people at tables that were handling more of the paperwork, insurance forms and so on. And there was food there and there was cameras there. And then every hour, this car would pull up a black car driven by Thomas John and it had cameras all over it, you know, on the outside, inside, roof, side of the car. And then when it was your turn, you, you go in, you sit in the spot, they tell you where to sit, you ignore the cameras, put your seatbelt on, and you're driven away. And Chris thought that they were going to a game show, like it was going to go on a game show or a talk show or something like that. So it's a lot like Cash Cab, where the people who get into the car are already, they may not know they're going to be in a trivia prize based show, but they're vetted before they go in. That's the word I'm looking for. They're vetted. Okay. Um, I'm, so I don't know how much clearer I have to be, but I'm getting people who really do not understand this. And um, unfortunately, the video that I made on my channel that's over 80,000 views right now, and I put it up in March, was on Seatbelt Psychic. It's one of the first ones I made. And, um, <laughs> you know, I was new at making videos. I'm still not an expert or anything like that. But I I was clear about these about what I'm saying right now, but apparently I wasn't as clear as I'm trying to be right now. So 80,000 people have viewed that video and I don't think they get all the way through the video because they keep making comments that are answered. The questions they ask are answered in the video, but I don't think they're getting all the way through, but they just leave a comment anyway. So I don't understand why people do that, but apparently that's the thing. Anyway. They don't look at the other videos. The other videos get 100, 200 views that answer those questions that they would like to have answered. And I write to them. They leave a comment. Please leave me a comment, you guys. I'm happy to answer all the questions you possibly want to ask me. I will answer all your questions. And by the way, my name is not Karen. It is Susan. And I like a lot of people named Karen. So stop using that phrase. It's so stupid. It makes, it makes you look really small when you do that. Anyway, so let's go back. Facebook. Now it is the thing I get about Facebook is they say, well, not all Facebook pages are open. Yeah. Not all Facebook pages are open, but they're not on, they're not going to end up on a TV show like Seabelt Psychic. That's just the way it is. Not everybody has a ability to, has a past that is searchable. Their name might be Sarah Smith and they have no online presence and no offline presence and finding them would be impossible to find. Those people are not necessarily going to get a hot reading. They will get a cold reading if they're going to go to a psychic. Thomas John specializes in hot reading, which means he knows information about the person before he gives the reading to them. Let's go to Facebook. That's the next place to check. So I'm going to... Um, Take some of these names. I should probably write them down because I can only show one screen at a time, right? Technology. I don't have as much. So let's see. There's Curtis. Let me let you see this so you can see it for yourself. Because you could try this too. There's no reason why I have to hog all the, the answers. You guys can look this up. These are not, I don't have any kind of 
like super knowledge or anything up here. Okay, here's Curtis Kingsley. Okay, Curtis Kingsley. And how about Tyrone, R-O-N-E, Evans, Clark, Kate, Stellar. I mean, and why is Thomas John listed on IMDb as one of the cast? Right? Is he a cast member? Is he a, is he on the show? Uh, Lisa Cash. Um, okay, let's look at those four first. Let's just let's see what we find. So, okay, so let's go over to Facebook and let's look up Lisa Cash. All right, so now we need to pick which one she is. This one, probably, she has 610 followers. She's an actress at SAG, Notre Dame. Okay, now let's say you've got a couple minutes. A couple minutes is all you've got, you know, like you're Tyler Henry and you're on Hollywood Medium, and you want to find something on this person that you're going to repeat back as if they have um, some kind of information. Somebody's died or or anything you want to be able to repeat it back to this person and find their ruin or find their their heart find something that you can repeat back so let's just take a glance over here here's lisa cash first thing you see is little dogs lots and lots of little dogs and um let's see lots of photos life events she's traveled she got a dog named houston in 2014 she's now these are all public pages so i'm i don't have a problem with showing them because you could easily look these up as easily as i can there's an about section i don't know if we'll find anything family and relationships her father there's her father's name we could probably go on to her father's page let's see i have no idea what we're going to find um, her father's from michigan so if her father's from michigan she's probably from michigan we, uh, this looks like a page that doesn't have a lot of information, but I could probably click around on there and find more information. Let's go back and places lived, details, um, life events, work and education. She went to Notre Dame. She was on these other things. So there's already, we know her father's name. We could probably look up her father on um, legacy.com or ancestry.com he had an unusual name and by looking him up we would probably be able to find in fact i'm pretty sure we would we'd be able to find you could type in his name and then put the word obituary and his obituary wouldn't show up because he's not dead probably but what would it show up is any obituary he's named in so his parents his um, siblings or other people that he would be listed in so if you find a legacy, uh, and Lisa Cash possibly too, if that's a real last name, but you would you would find that information, and it will give you all of the, um, you know, you then you could find out about the grandparents, you could find out about other things because his parents are probably her parents, or at least a psychic could say say something like this. And I just want to note, I'm not her Facebook friend, but yet I can see all this information. We can look at photos. Uh, we can see um, a lot about her life. There's lots of dogs. Here's what I'm talking about. Look at these dogs, 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 dogs. Um, she's a silly, looks like a very fun person. Lots of dogs, goats, um, um, all kinds of things. Now you can look for, what we look for is we look for photographs that are black and white or sepia, things that would look like something that was put up for an anniversary, for Mother's Day, Father's Day, Veterans Day, um, um, you know, remembrance of something. So here's here's an older one. My little man, my favorite little buddy. You always look beautiful. Okay, so um, we probably could put, here's another little known fact about Facebook. You can come up here to the top and you can type in search, okay? So we know she has a dog named Bailey. And you can look and you can see, ah, 2017, after a three-week battle with pneumonia, I've lost my best friend, my firstborn, the one who truly taught me what love is all about. Even though the last weeks were an emotional roller coaster of him getting better and then getting sick again, filled with hopes and tears, I'm so grateful for them. 
Okay, so here's all this post about her dog. She, she's, she's, um, he died in 2017. There's her ruin right there. You could, um, you could put her in the back seat of a car. You could mention that she lost her best friend. Seatbelt Psyche came out in 2018, so it would be right after 2017 when her dog died. Now, I know for a fact that on Seatbelt Psychic, that's what Thomas John talked to her about was dogs and, and a dog that had died. And she starts crying and, and obviously that would really bother her because, you know, she's human and she loves her animals as most of us do. Now I'm going to type in here Seatbelt and see what comes up. Aha. For those of you missed my episode on Seatbelt Psychic in a Lifetime, here it is. So this is September 2018. She's praising him. She's praising Thomas John. These people don't know. They know they're on a TV show, but they don't know that they were hot red. They just don't know. Um, what was cut out was Thomas said three times that Bailey was sending me a rainbow, whatever that means. And then she got home and she looked down at the collar that Jack came out with, came with which is her new dog that she got afterwards and it had a rainbow on it. Well, it is LA and rainbows are kind of a thing. So, uh, you know, whatever. So, okay. Um, yeah, many of you were asking if Thomas hears from pets who've passed away last night, you got your answer. Let's see what people said. Um, so on Bailey's love, so touching, just tears. Yeah, okay, so she had she had a reading. That's how it was. All right, so that's that's Lisa Cash. All right. So see how simple that was? Let's try Curtis Kingsley and see what we have here. Okay. Um does this look like him? Nope, that doesn't look like him. Let's see. Curtis Kingsley. There he is, right there, actor. Five out of five, 1.5 thousand followers, a ridiculous human being, writer for Comedy Central, VH1, True View, comedian on ABC, NBC, MTV, and others. So this looks like the guy. Now this doesn't look like it's his personal page. It looks like a fan page because he has followers. And um, what's on here? Oh, more animals. Okay, so he has a chihuahua. Now, this is recent, 2023. So the posts that you're seeing right now are not from 2018. And the dean of his school, um, you've got information about a waterfall, another dog. Boy, they like their dogs. Um, so if you were looking, just needed to make some kind of comments about him, you could talk. And if you were Thomas John, you could talk about dogs and you could talk about small dogs and you could say, something about how he has um you know lost some of his best friends the same kind of thing what else do we find on here i don't know i have no idea he's an actor um psychic advisor hmm okay i don't know what that's about and oh because this is a fan page it's a little different than some of the others see all photos Boy, here's a dog picture. Here's a little dog carrier. Um, Santa, who's this? Ah, here's his dad. It's a terrible picture of me, but a great picture of my dad. So I guess I'll allow it. Clearly, it's before I learned how to take selfies. So we would be able to possibly find out his father's name um, if we really tried at it. And the same kind of thing that you could do. Here's a picture of an older man. Oh, Joe DiMaggio, why, wow, signing a baseball for me. Hey, you know, how about if the psychic says something about a prized possession you have and, it, you know, I'm getting something really round, round and like about this size, like a size of an orange. And I don't know, there's something signed, some kind of signature on it. Uh, here's a, here's a base, here's a ring from the LA Dodgers. Obviously he's an LA Dodgers fan there and he's more pictures of his dog climbing. Um, all kinds of stuff like this. So, I mean, there's enough here. What's this? 
Um, here I am with my old man back in happier days. Two Christmases without you, dad. Okay, so this is 2021. So his dad died at least in 2018, 2019. So um, those could be some of the things that you would remember. You could say something about a man who has a lot of facial hair, who has, you know, who died far too young and um and you know you and him were very close together and loving and and so on so i mean those are all all things that you could you could talk about so anyway these are all pro oh, look at all these dogs oh my gosh you can click here and you can find some names of dogs and and so on let's see if he's mentioned uh, seatbelt psychic let's see if it's on here come here hit the search you could look for things like dad let's see what comes up dad doesn't come up how about father okay right on the brand for the kingsley's one of the legacies for my dad so some so you could try different phrases like um, anniversary if you could spell it correctly like maybe i can't <laughs> I'm trying to type and talk at the same time and it's not always a good idea grand or like grandma grandpa oh the grand canyon pulls up so that little search area over there has all sorts of little tricks things people could use your seat belt Let's see what comes up oh there we go uh you ever get into a cabin the rover tells you he talks to ghosts easily the weirdest uber ride megan and i ever took but he was such a sweetheart so again he is it's not really an uber ride but the show was saying it was kind of like an uber ride so he's playing that up and comments let's see what's on here i love this guy how many cameras in the cab <laughs> uh <laughs> i count at least nine camera angles so there's a lot um he's a medium please read for me i'd like to see the fun side of him will you please read for me please 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 why why would they think that curtis is a medium that's silly and oh what a fraud found this in 2009 was arrest john thomas john was arrested and pleaded guilty to theft and computer fraud for posting fake apartment ads on craigslist and stealing the security deposits from renters from wikipedia and there's a couple laugh. There's a laugh, at least one. Mm. This is that's the type of relationship that doesn't even last the amount of time it takes for this video to trickle from TikTok to Facebook. I have a feeling that this um, relationship that of the woman he was with on the show, and I don't know if this is true or not, that they're not together anymore. But I think Thomas John was saying something about them being soulmates, something like that. Okay. So that's some comments underneath it. Yeah, here's the woman. And she posted this in 2018. He tried to post, he tried to tag her and it, the tag doesn't work. So I have a feeling that they're not together anymore. So this is another person, another actress. Um, she was on the show with them. She's the other person in the car. Okay, there's Curtis. Let's look up Tyrone. Evans Clark. First one that comes up, digital creator. On um, wow, look at all this information that you can glean through to get some kind of information. Look at that. Wow. This guy is really taking it seriously, putting his himself out there to get information about the work he does. So there's all kinds of information. Let's see if we can get up. Uh, no search function on his. He's got it turned off. Oh, no, there it is. Never mind. Seatbelt. Nothing. Psychic. I guess it wasn't an important enough show for him. Because <laughs> the guy's done so many other things. So maybe he wasn't, or maybe he's not too proud of what he did. Who knows? Anyway, so there's information about these people. Like I said, they keep a lot of information about themselves. He's from Chicago. Let's see if there's any details. 
um, how to pronounce his name, life events. Here's, again, his history. How about family relationships? Nothing on there. Um, so probably he's trying to keep this kind of cool about, um, you know, his personal life so much, but he's trying to show it off. But I bet you if you Googled this, you'd probably Tyrone Evans Clark, you could find a lot of information about him. Should you want to find something out about him to to repeat back to him? And I I mean, there's so much information here. Who knows what you could do? There's there's a lot on here. Oh, there's a cat. A lot of, lot of information about this guy, but you would have to go through and glean quite a bit. So those are photographs. He probably has certain heroes in 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 the industry, and you might be able to find out who your hero is. Oh, what should we put? Mother. Happy Thanksgiving. There he is with his mom. And... Oh, let's see. I assume this is his mom, Gloria Slacker. Okay, that could be his mom. And then you would go to her page and then you could find out information about her. And then once you find out information about her, then you, you have more information about Tyrone because, you know, that's just how it works. Let's try one more. We've got one more to do. Who do we want? Kate. Kate Stellar. Probably this one. A new chapter begins. Yeah, that looks like her a model, a uh, professional member, also another actress. Um, After a lifetime of pain and struggles, I'm finally free of the nasty stomach infection that nearly took my life. Gave me a bleeding ulcer, required emergency transfusion and surgery in 2004. I lived on the edge that the ulcer returned since that time. I never gave up. Okay, well, there you go. So she had a life crisis in 2004 that she felt merely ended her life. So how, how I mean, that what, took me 10, 15 seconds to find that information. How hard would that be if, if you know, this post is in 2023, if this post was at the top of her feed in 2018, whenever they're hot reading, looking for information to repeat back to her, how hard would it be for Thomas John to have said something about her, her stomach, um, she's having, you know, that there, he's getting a lot of pain in her stomach and that her grandmother or grandfather, somebody older, some is really concerned about her health and, and something to do with, you know, she's going to have to have some kind of emergency. You know what I mean? You just embellish it. And there you go. That's, that's all you really need to talk to her about. But here's something else. Another thing I'm going to point out. A lot of people don't notice this. Another thing a lot of people don't notice is when you first create a Facebook account, it makes your URL say what it is that you first made your first page, your uh, first Facebook page. It's right there in the URL. So it's Kate and her middle name is M-I-R-A-K-A-L Stellar. So there's probably her maiden name right there. And it's an unusual name, M-I-R-A-K-A-L. I would suspect that to, to Google that or to look it up on Ancestry or to look it up on Legacy or one of those sites, you're going to get her family history. You're going to find out who her father and her parents and grandparents and that kind of thing, because especially because she's got her married name on there as well. So those are all kinds of things that you can do that are very quick to be able to find all the information that you need. And remember, you just need maybe three things about a person. Um, this one, she says she used to use the name Kate Romero and then her son, Kaylin Romero, turned 40. And then she changed her name to using the name that she's married by. So Kaylin Romero, there's her son. So how, um, you know, a psychic could say something about a K. You're, there's a lot of Ks in your family. They're K, 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 K Caitlin, K, 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 why am I getting this K name that's Okay, and that's her son. Um, there's all sorts of other information on here, of course, if you want to spend some time looking through. It wouldn't be that hard. Let's just take a look and see if her search is on. Nope, no search. No search. So she has the search filter off. I'm not sure how to turn that off, but I suppose you can. 
um, because some people have it, some people don't. But if it's turned off, if it's turned off so that you can't search, well, then either that person doesn't get a reading or you have to try to find another way of getting some kind of information about them. And there's plenty enough on this on her Facebook page without being able to have to search for anniversary, mother, father, Veterans Day, Mother's Day, um, any of that information, because you there's a lot of ways of gleaning stuff. So I'm not friends with any of these people. And I think I just showed you how simple it is to be able to find information about a person. And I'm not going to go and take their names and go and look them up on Ancestry because, I mean, that's a little too stocky for me to do on a video for my channel. But I think I've proved my point. It really isn't that difficult if you want to find two or three things about a person and then you embellish it with, you know, standard standard um, things like, you know, your mother is she or your grandmother's really watching after you she's been really concerned about some of the people that you've made friends with and she would had hoped that maybe you know you're not you're not taking yourself seriously enough not having enough vacations and she wants you to to, to have more downtime and and treat your health better you know more more exercise or she's concerned about um some new person that's going to be coming into your life and that is doesn't have your best interests at heart. So watch out for that person. Um, they're, they, uh, she's not really clear. It's kind of fading on me who the person's name is, but I think they're a redhead. So watch out for somebody who's a redhead who is trying to um, ingratiate themselves into your, you know what I mean? So there's, these psychic mediums like Thomas John, they're very good at what they do as far as making it sound convincing, making it sound smooth. Um, they're very practiced. <laughs> this <laughs> they are on like their first first readings. They, they've done thousands of readings over the years. So of course they can take some kind of small um something about. Uh, waterfalls and small dogs and a father named George and make that into an hours long reading and just adding in some embellishments and plus the person who's getting the reading the motivated sitter is going to fill in the details and as they fill in the details then the medium has more to work with for example um, the medium might say something about you know I'm, I'm getting somebody who passed over from pick one of the biggest illnesses like cancer, heart, heart disease, or something like that. You know, just play the odds. I'm getting somebody who's passed over from cancer. And then the person immediately goes to somebody in their mind who's passed over from cancer, which of course is right there in your mind. And you say, yes, that was my sister. And then the psyche says, yes, that's what I'm hearing. And she's watching over you. You know, no details like her name or when she died or anything like that. But they probably made it into adulthood. The odds are higher that they made it into adulthood if they passed away from cancer. Um, that kind of thing. So you can say, well, she remembers, um, you know, that you guys used to play. And sometimes you guys would roll around on the ground and and something about a water. I, there was a hose. Something with the do that she's laughing. She's over there on the other side. She's laughing about how how she something about a hose, and they turned and like the water was running, and she she bent the hose like this. So there was no water running, and you picked up the end, and then she let it go. Oh my gosh, how, what child has not had that happen to them? And then you have a good laugh and chuckle. And then the psych and the psychic's like, yeah, that's what she's telling me. And then the person who's getting the reading says to me, they come to Susan Gerbeck and they say, oh my gosh, there's no way the psychic could have known that. It's so personal. There's just no way they could have known that. <laughs> I just made that up. And how many people out there, leave it in the comments, you guys. How many people in that? would have been able to say oh yeah i remember that oh yeah i remember it happening to me and me doing it to somebody else in my family leave me a comment i'm curious so i mean this is how this works it's just 
they tell stories that are common to most people. Um, and it just, it feels like it's um, personal when it's, it's just how we humans are. We're, we have a lot of common um, stories. A bird got into the house and everybody was laughing and trying to get the bird out of the house. It was so funny. Oh my gosh. Google bird got in house and we had to get it out or something like that. Google that on YouTube and you'll see hundreds, if not thousands of videos of people filming birds that got into the house and they, everybody's laughing, trying to chase the bird out of the house. But it sounds really personal. How could they have known? Well, because that's a Barnum statement. They're just making a, a statement that applies to a lot of people. And if it didn't happen to you, it was somebody, who, it happened to, you were too young, you don't remember, but your, your grandmother's telling me about it. Or it didn't happen to you, it happened to your mom. And she just never mentioned it or whatever, you know, or it's about to happen to you. <laughs> you can't lose with these Barnum statements like that. Okay, so I hope I've explained and answered a lot of questions that come up often. And of course, the people who are going to see these videos that are out there that I've done that have 80,000 and more views are not going to look at this video because they are they just want to write a comment and not really do any research on it. But thank you guys for following me all the way to the end of this video. And I hope that you like and you share and you subscribe to this video and leave me lots of comments. And if you have something that you want to um, share a, a video or audio of a psychic reading that you've had, I, I'm happy to look at it. I would love to look at it. You can email it to me or um, my email is Susan Gerbic at gmail.com. My last name is spelled G-E-R-B-I-C. You can see right there on the, on the video. And um, that's, that's all I got for you right at the moment, but take care.